While Red Savine is best known for his 1970s recitations, sentimental trucker tales delivered with a warm, rich baritone, that success was the pinnacle of a long and varied career. Born in Charleston in 1918 to working class parents, Savine, whose shock of red hair gave him his nickname, was inspired at a young age by local musicians Buddy Starcher and Frank Welling, regulars on WCHS Radio's Old Farm Hour. In his teens, Savine and his childhood friend Johnny Bales joined Jim Pike's Carolina Tar Heels and performed as Smiley and Red, the Singing Sailors. They appeared briefly on the WWVA Jamboree in Wheeling, but Savine returned to Charleston where he married and took a job in a hosiery mill. In 1947, Savine formed the Echo Valley Boys and within a year moved to Shreveport, Louisiana. In 1949, he was chosen to replace Hank Williams on KWKH's Louisiana Hayride Show. Signing with MGM Records that same year, Savine released 28 honky-tonk singles over the next four years. Another Hayride performer, Webb Pierce, who had already started charting hits, asked Savine to front his band. The two recorded a number of duets, and in 1956, their version of George Jones's Why Baby Why hit number one. Tell me why. Thanks largely to that success, Savine was asked to join the cast of the Grand Ole Opry. Now signed to Decca Records, he recorded close to 50 sides before switching to the Star Day label. While 1964's Dream House for Sale gave Savine his first real hit, he found his niche the following year with Giddy Up Go, a story of a father-son truck stop reunion. The song, co-written by Savine, spent six weeks on top of the country charts. He just kept a hollering, giddy up, go, daddy, giddy up, go. He followed that up with Daddy's Girl and Phantom 309, in which a hitchhiker gets a ride from a trucker who turns out to be the ghost of a man who gave his life to save a school bus full of children from a horrible collision with his rig. The song was later adapted by singer-songwriter Tom Waits, who performed Big Joe and Phantom 309 during his Nighthawks at the Diner recordings. But it was Teddy Bear, a tale of a disabled child's CB relationship with caring truckers that became his signature song. The million-selling number one hit was nominated by the Country Music Association for Single of the Year and Album of the Year. Savine also used that formula on Christmas songs like Faith in Santa, a dialogue between a poor runaway boy and a sidewalk Santa, and What Does Christmas Look Like? A little blind girl asked Daddy to describe the Christmas that she cannot see. Red Savine left a legacy of more than 300 recordings spanning five decades. A Nashville DJ once wrote of Savine, he milks every drop of meaning out of every song he records. Red Savine died after suffering a heart attack in 1980. I'll sign off now before I start to cry. May God ride with you. 10-4. And goodbye.